What's going on YouTube? This is your boy, the Chocolate Bay. I want to say hello to all my loves, y'all. This is going to be a quick video. Um, this is regarding Strong Mommy Chrissy and Liv, Liv's life. And as many of us know that they have a channel called the um, Mommy Anna Gang. And they rotate. It's just for the ladies. Uh, Strong Mommy Chrissy, Liv, uh, Jazz, and uh, me. So they rotate panels. So recently they were on... Um, uh, Liv's panel, and you could tell between Chrissy and Liv, it was a little tension. So Liv kept, you know, taking a little shade, a little, a little jabs toward Chrissy, throwing them to her, and Chrissy was getting it. And then next thing you know, you know, Ming was trying to, you know, break, you know, get in between and tell Liv, look, come on, let's chill out now. And then Liv ended up ending the live. It was on her channel. She was like, no, 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 I can't do this. So you could tell throughout the group, it was a little tension between those two. So next thing you know, uh, you guys, Liv gets on her channel coming at, like, Chrissy hard. Um, she mentioned when they went to Houston. Um, according to Liv, uh, Chrissy was hopping from this guy to that guy. She had took some illegal stuff, substance, allegedly cocaine, or I think uh, Molly's as well. Um, she was just saying... Uh, Chrissy took that guy home that we mentioned. And, I mean, it was like she was coming hard at Chrissy. And then she also mentioned that she loaned Chrissy $50, I think, while, I think when she moved to Texas. So, I mean, Liv was just coming with daggers. I was like, man, why why is it even like that? Why even be so nasty regarding a person that you thought was your friend and telling all their information? I'm just like, no, nah, that's nasty. That's cold. Then, y'all, then uh, Chrissy came back and she, you know, was throwing daggers back at Liv. She mentioned that Liv has a POF account and she's even seen a profile of uh, Liv is dating or talking to a guy. She also mentioned that Liv is sick of her husband. Um, their marriage isn't what it seemed. Liv has mentioned or told her husband, look, I don't want to be with you anymore. I mean, y'all, they were coming hard, like, and even with the whole dynamic of the group, I just could understand. I mean, and then Chrissy did mention, y'all, that she likes people with more of a, I guess, a hard shell or a tough exterior, because even with Liv, I'm like, y'all might not get along, but I mean, y'all, like, it's still a business, so just be laid back, chill, just still be respectful, make y'all money and just be cool with it. But she did say that Liv is just too emotional. And I agree with that because you get mad at a person and you just throw everything. And like to me, that's not, I mean, y'all couldn't have been friends because if you were a friend, friends don't do that. Like if I don't care if we fall out, you know my secrets, I know yours, it doesn't go to anybody. But for her to be so nasty and just daggers, I mean, about the $50 thing. And I'm like, People were saying nasty comments, but I'm like, look, this woman has nine children. She's a single parent. I mean, she's relocated to a different state. She could have been down on her luck. Come on, y'all. Let's be come on. Let's be fair. She could have been down on her luck. Um, that many kids, we can say it's very expensive. Come on now. Let's give her a little, uh, come on, a little wiggle room. Come on now. But like, to me, that's not even a big deal. Like, why even throw that in her face? Like, Liv was just upset. She uh, comes with it. I'm just like, well... If you were friends, that shouldn't even matter. So apparently you guys wasn't friends because if you get mad at a friend, you come like that. Y'all were never friends to begin with. But Chrissy was trying to come back with her as well. And I don't agree with that part either. Like if you're friends with a person, I would shut my mouth. I wouldn't say nothing. Even if they go low, that doesn't mean that you go lower. Just be cool, chill, continue doing you and just keep it moving. But I was like, damn. I was shocked. I was like, man, these people friends, right? I used to be friends and they come in like this. Baby, y'all were never friends. Y'all were never friends, but I do but I do remember that uh I think someone mentioned that Liv uh she's trying to get an eyelash company going, or she does have one, and I think she mentioned it to Chrissy to try to see if Chrissy will promote her product. And Chrissy like, well, no, I'm trying to come out with my own, you know, eyelash line. So I can't promote yours, you know. So it could have been point of contention, like regarding that. But Liv, that was that was foul. I would say it's foul on both parts. Like I wouldn't have did that. And 
even that thing with the guy that Liv brought up, Chrissy is, a, she's an adult. She's a single mother. As long as she wrap up, keep it moving. I mean, she shouldn't even brought that up. She's an adult. She could do whatever she wants to. She could sleep with whoever she wishes to. That's on her. Like, that's not for you to throw that in her face. She's an adult. It's her body. So whatever she chooses to do with it, she can. So I don't, I don't like that type of stuff. Like, she's an adult. If she wants to bring, you know, sleep with a guy, use protection, keep it moving. Just, you know, m make sure that he's not around the kids and, you know, don't bring him home now. But, yeah, I just thought that was dirty, y'all. I'm like, if that's your friend and y'all are cool or was cool, don't throw up using illegal substances and cocaine and mollies. Like, what type of ish? I was just like, dang, that that's ne that never was a friend. Like, if my friend Elba, even if we weren't cool anymore and you come in so nasty and hateful, you were, we were never friends. But, I mean, Jazz seems cool. I like all the ladies. They seem cool, playful, just chill uh, women. But sometimes from Jazz, well, Liv, it could be, I don't know if it's jealousy or what, but it could be a little bit of jealousy. Like, why does she have you know, this many subscribers or this much success, you know. And also, um, Chrissy even mentioned that Liv even, you know, she brought up her kids like you're a single mother of nine. I was like, that's cold. And I'm just like, even with Chrissy, like I, um, with watching her and the kids, like they have a cooking channel that I like. And it made me have a new different level of respect for her. And I don't, I'm not saying that she's innocent. But it made me think of her a little bit different, you know? So I know they do a lot of nasty stuff that, you know, we might not be privy to or they're not innocent at all. They do have their faults like everybody else. But it made me think of her a little bit differently. So, yeah, I just, I don't know, y'all. I just was like, wow, that that's no friend, like, to tell your personal business. And even if y'all use cocaine or Molly, which I don't condone that type of stuff, that's not me. But why put it out there? To the public, why? Why? I don't get that. It's like, <sighs> trying to shame her, you could <laughs> shame yourself. That's what I see. But I don't. I don't get that with people. Friends don't do that. If you know, if a person did that to me, uh, was a friend, you never was my friend to begin with. So I don't know if Liv is jealousy of, or well, jealous of. Strong mommy Chrissy because she does have success and things seem to be going okay for her, you know? But I just couldn't, um, you know, I was just like, damn, you're going to throw that in your friend's face like that? You never, like, you never care for her in the beginning. But yeah, I don't agree with that. I just think people, if you're a friend, just keep it silent, keep it on mute. But I hope it works out for the ladies. I hate to see women, like, coming at each other like that. They're both mothers. And to be so foul and nasty, just, you know, it's not worth it over social media, over YouTube, over money, over finance. Like, it's not worth it. I think, yeah, they need to take a hard look exactly of what they're doing. But to put your business out there like that, for people to see, to listen, to judge you over just foolishness that didn't even have to go this way. Like, even with Liv, I, I just wish she would have just ended the live. If you're upset with her. Just end it, call her when it's over, try to, you know, talk with her, come to some type of arrangement, agreement, and just squash it, apologize, and be done. But you get mad at the person just putting their business out there. That's no friend. Like, at all. At all. Ah, baby. Ugh, it'll be a done dollar. It'll be a done dollar. But Liv is coming at everybody. She's came at Jazz. She's mentioned something with Jazz. Uh, regarding Jazz um, was sleeping with somebody allegedly in Houston about her taking a lot of Plan B pills. It's crazy, y'all. And I'm like, she's an adult. If she wants to take, if she wants to sleep with someone, then she could do that. Just wear protection, keep it moving. But she's an adult and she's single. And even with uh, Ming, Ming was like a lot of stuff was lies. But I mean, we don't know. The only people that know the truth are the four ladies like they know all like wh whatever's going on so we don't know baby we we hope that it's not like that or people are stretching the truth but uh when you throw cocaine and molly and stuff i'm like Ooh. but yeah i just think the ladies need to do a little soul searching just 
kumbaya, humbaya, stop telling your personal business, stop trusting trusting people, thinking that you're they're your friends because they could be ready to stab you in the back. But peace and blessings, y'all. Comment below, please.